Welcome back to Mindful Moments. Thank you for taking a little time to join me today. I want to share something with you that's kind of been on my mind and just share it with you and, and give you some something to think about. What if when we we're born, somewhere on our body, I like to think maybe our, our forearm here, there was numbers that when we were born, there was numbers that had how long until our death? I know that sounds kind of morbid, but because we're just born. But what if it was, you know, I think of um, digital. What if it showed up on our wrist, on our forearm, and it was this digital number that was a countdown? This is how many days we have. Maybe it's hours. Whatever it is, days, hours. This is how many we have till the end of our life. We're just born. And we always look at it, and it's always counting down. My thought has been lately, how would our life be different? How would we treat our life differently if we looked at, at that number and it kept counting down? Would we do things differently in our life? I think sometimes we don't do things because we're afraid of what will happen. What if I make the wrong decision? So sometimes we go, I don't want to make the wrong decision, so I'm not going to make any decision, which therein is a decision because then we're not going to do anything. There's things that we want to do that we like. And, and probably like me right now in the stage of my life, there's things I want to do, but oh, I have this responsibility. I'm, I'm fearful of this, but what if this? Um, I don't know. But what if we saw that timer ticking down, especially as we get a little older and it gets closer to our, for lack of a better word, our expiration date, to a zeroing out? How do we start to live life differently? Would we we'd probably place the importance of things um, a little differently than we do now, not knowing um, when we'll leave this earth, what day or time it'll be. So we still kind of play, um, play it safe, play it reserve. Do I have enough money in retirement to make it till the end? Um, have I worked enough? Do I need to work more? Uh, well, I, I don't want to go experience this memory because I need to work. I need to be here. I have this response. I have that. But would that be different if we looked at our countdown timer on our arm and go, I don't have much time left. I want to, um, I want to experience these things. I want to know what it feels like to stand on the edge of the cliff. I want to know what it feels like to stand on top of the Grand Canyon and look down to the bottom. I want to know what it's like to be in the bottom of the Grand Canyon and look up. I want to know what it's like to jump out of an airplane. I want to know what it's like to ride a bull. I want to know what it's like to um, run through a, a field of, of flowers. All these different things that, you know, I'm sure you have questions and, and thoughts of, I wonder what this is like. I wonder what that's like. Would we go do those things more with our countdown? But the reality of it is we don't have a countdown. We don't, we don't know when our last day will be. We don't know when our last minute will be. So my challenge to you in this mindful moment, as well as it is to me, that has been on my mind for the last few weeks, is live those moments. Live those mindful moments. Live those experiences like you may not get to do it again. And do those things that sometimes you go, I don't know if I should. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be a memory. Dance in the rain. Dance out in public, which I have a hard time doing. Kim will tell you that. Um, I have a hard time doing that. What will people think? What will they say? And so I, I'm speaking to myself as much as I am to you. Do those things. Live those things out. Live those experiences. Have those things. Because we don't have that countdown timer. We don't know when that last minute is. So do all the things. Have all the experiences. Have that rich, full life that said, I lived it. I lived it to the best I could because we don't know when that last minute is. It'd be nice if we had that countdown timer when it came out, but we don't. So live life to the fullest. And I challenge myself as much as I challenge you to live it grand and live it great and have a great life because we only get one. Thanks for joining me today on Mindful Moments. I look forward to seeing you right here next time on Mindful Moments.